Hi everyone, this here is Jordi from Yepper Design and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Um, I had a request from someone named Vezia. He asked me how to make a tutorial and how to color grade your videos to give it a cinematic film look. Um, well, here it is. Um, this here is my uh, original footage and this here is my color graded footage. Uh, now I have to say with this that a uh, color graded cinematic look uh, can be can be different on, on, on the feeling that you like to create. If you like to create a horror scene uh, then your co your color grading would be more to the, to the green side and uh, if you want to make a love scene, uh, I don't know, something pink, uh, a pink color graded, <laughs> uh, an action scene, uh, it should be something blue or, sh uh, or something like that. Now uh, this tutorial will just tell you how to make something standard. So. Uh, we're going to create a little more warm feeling. As you can see, um, the darker tints will come up. Uh, the colors are much better. Yeah, you can see the flags here. Very good, the difference here. Uh, okay, uh, let's just start on it. I'm going to delete my uh, footage I've just made. Um, and uh, I'm going to drag the rough footage onto my timeline. So here is a new footage. This is the original. Uh, and we're going to start by adding some effects on it. First of all, the three-way color corrector. So we're going to search after color corrector, which should be under video effects, color corrections, and then here, a uh, three-way color corrector. I'm going to drag it onto my clip. There we go. Uh, go to effect control and open up the three-way color corrector. Now you see some, uh, you see a lot of things here. And uh, now you already see a uh, tree, uh, I don't know how you say that, rounds, angles, rats, not rats, wheels, wheels, I'm gonna call it wheels. Yeah, you, you see three wheels right there. Uh, the first wheel is for your black tones, so so your shadows. So you already see here on the, on the bus, and then on the downside, some blacks. Uh, this here is black in the flag. We have one black stroke. Uh, here is a little black area. Then we got the mid tones here. The mid tones are the gray tones. The roof of this of this house, this this building, the this the street is gray. Uh, are, are are the are the middle tones? They're actually between the shadows, the black tones, and the white tones. And that's the third wheel, that's for the white tones. Uh, definitely the sky. Um, also the bus here, the bus is white. This motorcycle here has some white spots. Okay, so we're going to change these things. Um, the black tones, we're going to give it a warm feeling. And we're going to do that by giving it a little... Um, yellow to the yellow side. I'm gonna pump it all the way to the yellow. You can really see it's it's yellowed out here and then the bus. Okay, but that's ugly of course. So we're just gonna give it a little yellow feeling like that. So just to give it a warm feeling. And the rest we're gonna make a blue. A little bit blue, not too much for for the, for the mid tones. The same thing the same thing as the black tones, just a little blue. Not too much. A little bit in this case, especially because we're outside, so the clouds should be blue. Okay, um, then the white tones. I think we can make it all the way to blue, uh, and especially the white tones because the the sky is blue, so we can make it all the way to blue. But again, that's in this case. Okay, if your video is uh, inside, play with it. <laughs> Till you get something uh, out of it, but this is something standard. Your uh, black tones, a warm feeling, and the rest a blue feeling, and it depends on how much you want or, or or the feeling you like to create. Now, if you want to create instead of a warm feeling that horror thing, you can go to more to the uh, to the blue for the uh, for the uh, black tones, and then in the mid tones we're gonna create this this uh, this green thing. See, like that. See, uh, you're already getting a little more horror feeling here. Uh, no, something standard is uh, yellow, a little bit blue, bluish. If you want to give it more action, you can go to red. More blue, a little more blue. 
like that. This is more the action feeling in it. Okay, so you just need to play with it and and look at it and then feel what it what's yeah and, and get the feeling of it <laughs> of the color of the of the correction. Um, yeah, it's, I think this is something very hard to explain. Okay, so this example, little bit of every of everything. Yellow is warm feeling, uh, red warm feeling, blue is more cold, green that more nature style. I, I don't know. Okay, but make sure you're not going everything blue or everything pink or something like that. Now make sure your black tones are all are always something different. Like in this case, a yellow, little yellow part, and the rest bluish. Okay, something like that. Okay. Now that's it for the three-way color correctors. I know there are much more settings in here, but we're not going to use that. Um, now we're going to create uh, or uh, adjust the, uh, the 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 black and white colors. The in other words, the brightness and contrast. Uh, so we're not going to add brightness and contrast. We're going to add uh, Pro Camp because there are some more settings here at the Pro Camp. Uh, it's under Video Effects. Adjust a Pro Camp. Drag it onto your clip, and here it is, Pro Camp. And the first thing we want to do is bump up the saturation to 200, which is the maximum. You see, I can't go further. 200 is the maximum, and this will create good colors. Now, if you don't want these 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 very hard colors, uh, you can change it to maybe 150. If you're making a hotter scene, you can even make it below the 100. Let's see, AV. Of course, if you go to zero, you got black and white. If you want that, that's also fine by me. If you're making a black and white video, uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna pick 200 to make it uh, very hard colors. Uh, now I'm gonna change with brightness and contrast. Okay. I'm gonna bring down the brightness. How much? Pr pretty much. Let's say minus 30. Now this is dark. So we have to bring up the contrast. This will make it lighter again, but it will leave actually the, the black tones a bit. See? Of course not too high. Now of course if you want it, if you want it like 200, this could also be a nice looking thing if, if, you, if you're looking for this. But in this example I'm just going to take 150 maybe, something, something like that, or 140, no just take 150 maybe, 150, oh rendering, I'm going to cancel that, don't need rendering. Okay, 150, let's say 150, that should do you. Now this is all already it. This is our film look. Th this should be the film look. Oh yeah, by the way, we also have the you don't touch this. Okay, let me just show you what this is. This is gonna add <laughs> ugly colors so in the overall. If you want to create disco, you can you can use this. <laughs> but uh, we're not gonna create disco in here. So we just leave it on zero. We want the actual colors. Okay, so this should be it. Um, but I'm gonna add one extra thingy. We're gonna make a vignette border. I know I have made already made a tutorial on how to make a vignette border, but actually that was a wrong tutorial. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so we're gonna add a circle on it. A, vig a real vignette border is actually are actually um, dark. Um, areas in the corners of your video. So I'm gonna drag circle on my um, video. I'm gonna open up circle. I'm gonna change um, the blending mode right here. Do say do normal. I'm gonna invert my circle right here. I'm gonna change the color to black. I'm gonna gonna uh, and I'm gonna <laughs> uh, change the radius or something like that. And now we're gonna feather it which is right here. You can open up the triangle and just feather it. Feather it enough. Not like that. And there you go. You can all still change the radius if you want it to be more. But that should do. That should be good. And now we also have a vignette border on our video. If you want that. If you don't want that, delete the circle effect and just leave it this way. Okay, let me just show you the original footage again. 
Here it is. Let me just play it fully now. There, isn't that a real cinematic bus? Okay, well, thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you learned something out of this, especially Vesia, because it was your request. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, check out my website, yapperdesign.com, which should be in the description if you're watching this video on YouTube. Um, well, see you there. We also got forums, a, a community uh, coming up. If you're watching this video in, in the future, the community might already be, uh, be there. So if you like to request your own tutorial, go to the forums, create an account and request your tutorial and I might be making it for you.